You call me on CEO, let me say this slide thing. Production. Um, Namaste, everyone. This is Asanas Fire, Day of Dharma. Today we are having a very special guest, friend of mine, Astro Scientific Spirituality, and today we're going to be discussing lower levels and spirits that can be classified as malicious and demonic. Can you please give them a give your speech, please give yourself an intro and greet the, the people? Okay, uh, good morning everyone. My name is Epi West. I'm originally from Nigeria, uh, but I'm currently uh, based in uh, Cape Verde. And uh, I practice African spirituality. My main focus is on uh, ancient uh, Kemetic spirituality and uh, the West African Urubu spiritual system called uh, Igwe. I also practice uh, Western black magic. Uh, from the left-hand path, I focus on uh, the, uh, demonology and uh, the uh, conception of uh, ancient uh, spiritual deities that uh, can be traced from the Western concepts to African spirituality and uh, elemental spirits and basically ancestral veneration that are related to African uh, deities. Oh yes, um, today the basic thing that made me to, to have this conversation with you, you said something on your on your video about about demonic spirits, right? That struck a curiosity inside of me. I wanted to, to, to clarify a few things and try to reconcile with you some of the things that I know. In your video, please tell, please tell the people, in your video, you said that most of these European magical spiritual practitioners, they, con they communicate with low level entities. And going back to your book, you once mentioned that there were entities that were trapped in a in a forest. Yes. So those entities went out. And now these black practitioners, these left hand path guys, they are con they are contacting these these spirits. And uh, according to my to my knowledge, these spirits are very malicious and it, it it's really, really, really it's something something bad. Yeah. so yeah. can you please speak on that okay thank you very much um from my understanding is that uh, black people due to the fact that uh, they are the root race of this planet we have the deepest spiritual connections okay. to the deities in this planet and uh, also to the celestial deities by that I mean the spirits that created the order of creation, that they created this universe, this health, and uh, also the other planets. And uh, as a result of that, we have a very natural spiritual connection that is uh, stronger than that of other races, okay. especially the, the white race. So we have a higher vibrational frequency than them due to the 
melanin content that is in our body because uh, we are like the first man, the closest to the first set of humans that we have created on this planet. So okay. if there is any original man on this planet, it has to be the black man. And uh, the, even the so-called Western scientific facts, uh, science have proved that uh, the black race is the root race of these heads. So it's only natural that uh, we have a very strong spiritual acumen and uh, trends. So we connect with, we tend to connect with higher vibrational entities much more easier. So when you com compare us with uh, other races, as in a uh, Western race, we have the which are like the youngest race on this planet, I would say the Caucasians specifically, they do not have the kind of spiritual capacity or acumen that we have. So they cannot really connect with uh, very, very ancient or uh, celestial deities the way black people can due to the fact that uh, we have this natural bond with those our affiliation with those deities. So in our spiritual uh, activities, there are many things we can be able to do, even in terms of imagination, in terms of capacity, that they can't really, most of them can't really do it because they lack that attribute in them. It is not that they are, it's just the way it is. We are humans, we have different species of human beings with different capacity. Just like we have plants, there are different species of particular plants. We have different species of animals. So far, the human race have different species and each of them have their unique capacity. Mm -hmm. So it's not like something that is racist. It is just the way nature have created it to be. So it's not to say that uh, we are superior, they are inferior. I'm not trying to say that. It is just the way it is. They might have some setting point that there are some certain things they are good at doing. But when it comes to spiritual connection, uh, black people have with they enjoy or they have a unique uh, system that many other races, they cannot even be able to imagine or understand how it works due to the fact that we don't have that kind of connection that we have. They don't have that root connection, that deep connection, that melanin, dark matter consciousness is not really in their body. So most of the deities they come in contact with can, are not high level deities. Okay. They cannot even get in touch with those deities because they cannot even reach where those deities, they cannot even imagine the deities to be, they cannot reach where they have. Wow. If we want to say, okay, let's try to make contact. The deities might be too, uh, the vibrations might be too strong for them. It will affect them in a negative way. It might destroy them because they don't have the capacity to withstand the energetic frequencies of these deities. Okay. So they cannot reach out to them. So at best, what they can reach out to our low level deities, by low level, I mean deities that are head bands. These are deities that you can find naturally on the head surface, on head elements, as in water deities, air deities, fire deities, and uh, spirits that are around, or spirits of the dead. When we talk of deities from other planets, as in um, even solar deities, some of them might not be able to even uh, get in touch with solar deities. It might be too powerful for them. Even physically, the sun, many of them cannot even withstand the sunlight. Not to talk of uh, venerating deities that are made of that kind of uh, elements. It would be too strong for most of them. We just burn them to death. Mm. So I have come to realize this fact. So most of them now, what they do due to the fact that they don't have this deeper spiritual connection, deities that are natural, uh, what they normally subscribe to. 
So in order for some of them to want to like uh, go deeper in spirituality, they have taken the short way of contacting male violent deities. These are like um, spirits that don't have good intentions. We can say they are evil spirits, they are wicked spirits. Yes, yes. These are three that are their sole purpose is focused on material uh, materialism, selfish uh, achievements. Uh, these are spirits that are banned by the seven vices, lower virtues of life, greed, jealousy, hatred, anger, envy, those kind of things are sexual gratifications, low level deities. These are deities that you only find on the lowest plane. Uh, deities that have to do with um, the astrology, survivor, uh, dominance, that, that lack love. So these are the kind of deities we find that these people get in touch with. The reason they get in touch with these deities is that um, they want to prove that they are superior yeah. to the black oh, race. Okay, so that's the image you had to present. Yes, they want to prove that they are superior people. And these are the deities they have been in touch with for a very long time. And uh, they want to also prove that they are superior to God, that they want to be like God. So they need power. They need to kind of show that they are strong. So it's, in order to do this, instead of them to try to live in harmony with the planet or to follow the natural principle of things and accept their place and grow from them, they want to prove that they are they can be able to take over and take control of the planet. This is the kind of mentality that led to uh, the development of the philosophy of racism which later translated to the transatlantic slave trade and all the other kind of slave trade and the problems we are seeing in the world today. If you look at the world today, you see the people, the way white people are behaving. They believe that they are inferior and superior to all other race. They try to oppress black people. They try to destroy everything good and natural in the world. You see what they are doing with climate change, how they are polluting and destroying and how they have developed this system of capitalism of wealth by greed, by destruction, unwanted destruction and unwanted consumption. They don't live in harmony with the natural environment. All sorts of vices that we destroy the natural order of things that are totally in support of it. So this is the kind of spirits, the kind of mentality that they are using. So they are being controlled by these so-called evil spirits. And uh, I have come to discover that by nature, many of them grab, naturally gravitate to these low-level wicked spirits because them themselves resonate with this kind of spirits. Okay, okay, yes. Yes, they share the same kind of energetic frequency. So they naturally resonate with this low level because they are also on a low-level vibrational scale because they refuse to go upwards. They refuse to live in harmony with other races, they refuse to live in harmony with the planet, so they cannot advance higher in spirituality. Okay. So you see why they behave the way they behave. They behave like a, a very destructive race of people. Definitely. And that is exactly, and they lie a lot. That is how you, I know they are being controlled by lying spirit, they lie a lot. They lie about history, they lie about their origin, they lie about so many things. If you look at the people causing wars on this planet, deceiving other people that they have weapons of mass destruction to kill people. They did this in uh, Iraq. They did this in Afghanistan. They did this in Syria. They did this in Libya. Why are the people doing all those things? It is people that have been venerating these low-level deities. Exactly. Now they are trying to treat Russia as we are speaking now. Can you imagine this kind of people? They just want to be drinking blood all the time. What sort of people are these? I, they have been controlled by the low level spirit. And spirit like this, we have evil spirits like Moloch, one of them, the oh, major okay. one. Moloch, yeah, Moloch, yeah. Yeah, that is a spirit that venerates. This is a spirit of uh, 
like Moloch, Mormon, spirit of that engage in on materialism, how to accumulate so lots of material possession without sharing. These are spirits of unwanted greed mm -hmm. and selfishness mm -hmm. and hatred. All these spirits want to do is just destruction upon this planet. These are the kind of spirits that they venerate. So when you see most of these left arm path practitioners, yes. cannot venerate good spirits. They venerate this kind of low level deities because they want to prove superior that they have spiritual power to do things upon this planet to destroy their fellow men. My own philosophy of the aim of spirituality is not to destroy all that people. Yes. Or not to uh to cause problem for this world. Yes. It's to live in harmony with the planet, love your neighbor as yourself. Yes. But uh these people believe that love is a weakness. Oh, that love is weakness. That uh, they believe that uh, they even say it in their uh, left hand path philosophy. They say yes, that the left hand path is a part of destruction, a part of uh, of non-attachment, of not living in harmony with the head, not living in harmony with anybody, just to become a living God. As a living God, you do what you want at any time, you take what you want at any time, Everyone. and you don't care about the next person, you don't care about anything. This is the mentality. And that is a this is a mentality of a psychopath and a sociopath. <laughs> exactly. You, so you see the mentality of these people, these people that are in the left hand path, we are looking to, and they, they claim that they are superior beings. They claim that they are enlightened, but their philosophy is a philosophy of total destruction. Is that how spirituality is supposed to be? If everybody have this mentality, do you think you can walk on the road? Never. You cannot come out of the road. Somebody can just shoot you and say, if you like killing somebody today, is a living God. You mm -hmm. cannot send your children to school. Somebody yeah. will kidnap your children for sacrifice and say, it's a living God. And what sort of, if you go, if 10, even 10% 10 of people on this planet follow that philosophy, we cannot live as a human being on this planet. But yet, this is what these people are pushing, that they are saying that it is a true path of, of uh, ascension. Is that not madness? It's madness, definitely. It's not madness. Madness, yes. So you see the people that are venerating, you see the, the, the madness of these people. You look even in the hellates of the so-called Western society, you can see this madness in the capitalism they are promoting. It is just a system of total destruction of the planet. Now, all of them are thinking of going to space. Now, they are all planning, investing in technologies of how they can be able to live forever because they don't want to die. Yes. And they are not thinking of how to take care of this very planet. So what they are practicing from the elites to the low level ones that are in the left hand part community, many of them are being controlled by these evil spirits. And the evil spirits is lying to them. Yes. And so they will I, not believe. I wanted to ask you something about this, okay? So I'm in South Africa, in South African spirituality. There's evil spirits of maybe ancient warlocks, okay? Those that practice yeah. witchcraft. And my neighbor is actually one of them. Uh, she recently died. She's a grandmother. So when you mentioned that uh, some of these spirits are leaders of secret societies, this is what I could re reconcile it to. Okay. So yeah. these ancient warlocks, these guys don't want to die. And even dying on, on this physical plane, it's so hard for them because they don't want to die and they endure such sickness and illness to a point whereby their body literally deteriorates. So when you say these guys come into contact with such spirits, this is really dangerous. That, that's what I could say. So is, yeah. it, is it like that? It's exactly like that. Mm -hmm. We see ancient times, we have uh, secret societies, spirituality have been practiced for thousands of years. There have been cases of people that have uh, bring themselves into contact with some kind of evil deities, some kind of elemental spirits, spirits that are not good mm. for humanity, just because they want to have power of dominion over their fellow men. Mm. So as a result of this, they have sort of make packs, mix their blood, do some sort of rituals, group rituals to these deities, 
to bind themselves together, maybe in veneration, in worship, or in, in hopes, by taking a blood oath. So we have a lot of this kind of ancient secret societies, lots of them in the world, time passed. So what happens is that when these people have died, their time has passed, due to the blood covenants that they have made with each other by drinking each other's blood, promising themselves to be bound together forever for all eternity, to become one deity. So they will not become bound in the spirit world, meaning when this person dies, they cannot reincarnate anymore. The spirit mm -hmm. anywhere anymore. They are trapped here due to the covenants. They have given away their free will. So they have no option that to keep doing what they have been doing, growing by bringing more people into this kind of situations. Mm -hmm. So most of these black magicians, these Western so-called black magicians we are seeing on the internet and the YouTube, many of them, the kind of deities they get in touch with are these kind of evil deities. So, of course, the deity will give them power to deceive people and destroy. They, they can never do anything good with this power. That's why you have to be careful of the kind of spiritualists you go to for help. When you go to search people for spiritual help or even just not regular card reading, mm. they are going to infect your life with these evil deities. They are going to cause more problems for you. They do this. So by the time you get in touch with this kind of deities, uh, we also encourage you to get into a blood pact with them, to become one of them. And they get a lot of people into this blood pact. That's why you see them talking about pacts a lot. They talk we impact, a lot about pacts. About I packs in as world. as a, oh man, those guys. And this demon, this strange spirits, all about they will just come every day, bring one spirit from nowhere, tell you this spirit can do this, do that, do that, do that. You actually do a pact with the spirits. They always want to get people to join this kind okay. of packs. So when you join the pact with the spirit, um, you also give your free will away, you become one of them. With the aim that when you die, there's no more ascension for you. Mm. So they are trying to deceive lots of people into these blood packs. Mm. Before you get into a blood pack, you should know the origin of that spirit. Definitely. And uh, what we find that, again, that when you begin to share this origin of these spirits, you never know where they come from. Mm. Even the spirits most time, they will not tell you where they come from because they are not good spirits. Because they know if you know they are truth, you will not want to have anything to do with them. Yes, yes, yes. Okay? Uh, but people that are shallow minded or people that resonate in the same vibration with that kind of spirit will always gravitate there. Mm. For somebody like me, you most of those spirits they are powerless when they come in touch with me because Definitely. there's nothing you can give to me that Definitely. I want. You want to give me money, I can make money by myself. Exactly. Is it love? I can get women by myself. Anything you, I can do it by myself. So I don't need anything from those priests. So when you, you get in touch with somebody who needs nothing from you, what can you do to them? You can't do anything to them. You can't. But if you want something and uh, they find out that you need to you say, okay, you want this thing, I will get it for you. Something that is very trivial that you can even do by yourself, you, they will just quickly do it and try to show that they have power. All they want is for you to get into the pact with them so that they can be able to control your life, use you as a battery to grow their own interests and grow their own empire. So you see a lot of these priests, they are grimoires. You will see some, they will say there are 3,000 people, there are 5,000 people in one. Yes. There are this, <laughs> that, this, and this. How did they come together to become 5,000 people? They will never tell you. Exactly. They will not tell you the origin, how they come to become so many. These are people that have grouped themselves together by blood packs that are now bound in some cases. But these are a group of people that are also venerating one deity that they have bound themselves to that deity. That is how they become so many. So that's how they one. become 10,000 legions and all that. Yes, fine stuff. that's how they become so many. So uh, when this so deity I'm comes to you, you have become a composite deity, a composite deity together. And uh, when you join to you become one of them, when you pass on, you also have to join that club. Mm. No going anywhere for you, no ascension. You have to be here on this end doing the same thing again and again and again and again. And uh, which is not the destiny of really mankind. 
That's why you see most of these demon uh, venerators, these black, they hate angels. You know why they hate angels? Why? Yes, why? Angels are celestial deities. Okay. Angels are already created to do a particular work on this planet. So they cannot evolve. And angels want humans to have a free will. For these demons, most of them, these low-level demons, they don't want humans to have a free will. So most of these uh, black magicians, they cannot even do things with angels because they cannot even vibrate on the frequency of most of these celestial deities. They cannot go there. Their vibrational frequency is too low to go where these angels are. So they hate angels. But we black people, we naturally resonate with angels because our frequency is high. We are more angelic in nature. Why they are demolic? They have negative spirit, low level spirits. So when you see them, the way they behave, most of them don't have good minds towards hey, their self. <laughs> have you seen it? A lot of time, I cannot keep hiding anymore. They don't, they don't have good intention. Definitely. It's like they are created that way, or maybe due to their history. If you share the history of the Caucasian race, it is fraught with uh, a lot of hunger, a lot of lacking of things, a lot yeah. of uh, mistakes. So a lot, a lot of animalism and bestiality is there. So these are kind of giving them a mentality of a um, survivor instinct. They don't. All they know is that we kill to eat, we steal to eat. Survival of the future. They do not have that mentality of sharing, of living in harmony. That is why when they got in touch with Africans, when they came to Africa, they came to ancient Egypt, they cannot resonate with the principle of um, Mahat, of harmony, harmonious balance. All they think about is how to kill, to eat, to steal, to eat, to covet somebody's property. That is why many of them love sex. <laughs> sex is the yes, yes. deity of destruction. Sex is uh, do anything to survive, do anything to, to eat. Sex does not care about harmonious balance. So yes. out of all the ancient Egyptian deities, they prefer to venerate sex because only sex we have that kind of mindset that they have. That is why you see many of them gravitate to these evil deities a lot, these low-level spirits. When they talk of left hand path, left hand path is not a part of destruction. It's supposed to be a part of love, of caring for the uh, environment, thinking of how to make this world a better place. It is not a part of an unwanted, unwanted destruction, uh, doing things without caring uh, with uh, how, the, how, the, how your actions affect other people. It's not a part of no karma. Definitely. If you look at the black magicians that are having this philosophy, look at their lives. Look at that. Many of them are living a very destructive lives. Many of them, 99% of them are drug addicts. 99% of them have issues, have serious psychological issues. 99% of them don't even have prosperity. The prosperity that they promise you, many of them don't have money. They don't have good house. You will be shocked that some of so-called of these, they are big stars on YouTube. They are living on social security. They don't even have a good house. They don't have a good car. Truth, I have looked, so I've researched many of their life. Wow. Okay. If not for American social security, many of them will be, some of them are almost living in homeless shelter. I was shocked. Definitely. So they are I've heard of their case. Yes, these are people that claim that they are masters of the universe. How can you be a master of the universe and be living like a madman? on the streets. I, as a master of the universe, in my own definition, you are supposed to be able to balance your physical life and your spiritual life. Yes or no? Yes. Like basic housing. I'm not saying you should be a rich person or, or by, at least if you have an average house, you show your uh, life basic life. Exactly. Of life, you would have been able to get all those things in place. Yes. Right? So, not yes. that you see something that is living like almost like a destitute, going homeless. He's saying he's a master of the universe. You can't use your ritual to manifest any simple thing for your life, and yet you want to help people. Mm. So this person to me is a low-level scam artist. The scam artist, they're just scammers with the YouTube channel, mm. basically. And many of them, you will see they have this um, stereotype. The first stereotype, many of them like to wear black all the time. Yes. They 
Don't marry any other color, only black. Leg, they have yes. so associated black with evil. They have associated black with darkness, uh, with wickedness. They have associated black with anything bad. Yes. Can you see? And black is not bad. Black is not evil. Black is not wickedness. They don't know this. Yes. We African people, we don't really use black like, like our uniform all the time. We don't do that. Then you see these people, they always claim victim. They always claim they are victim of almost of the time sexual molestation. Yes, yes. That That's is the time. But every Western black magician be a, a victim, I wonder. As a result of that, it's like all of them are reading from the same script. So therefore, due to the fact that they may have been abused in their former life, so therefore they have this destructive behavior. So they are now using this former abuse as an excuse for living a destructive life. Now they will claim that uh, they are using these evil powers to avenge evil people in society. That is what they claim they use this power for. And in essence, they are, they they are are doing. what they are doing is that they are actually spreading, <coughs> sorry, spreading evil to everything that they touch in this ex. Anybody that comes in contact with them, they always have a problem with that person. They are always full with drama. You follow their life regularly. It is full with drama. It is not peaceful, and they always drug addicts. Yes. Every, before they even talk about 30 minutes, they have smoked something in their channel. Many of them are heavy drug addicts. How can you be a master of the universe where you cannot be able to, you are attached to a substance, you are abusing um, substance, narcotics, and heavy drugs constantly? Does it make sense? No, it doesn't. It's the life of the people that draw this kind of negative entities into their life constantly. There are some spirits that we are not supposed to be talking to as human beings because yes. this spirit is good to us. And and I want so, to I want to voice out something, uh, just to to make the people clear on what kind of spirits these people these spirits are. You have low level spirits, ones that are actually servitors that can be sent unto people to to, to torment and do all those evil stuff. And then you have yes. ancestors that don't want to die, that enjoy drinking alcohol, going to those low-level vibrating places. You have the kind of spirit too. Yes. Spirit of the dead. Yes. And then you have these souls that are lost. You know, they, in African spirituality, you can actually steal someone's soul and then use it for evil. And then there's also yes. there's there's also a spirit that we have here, a very very terrible spirit. It's a short kind of spirit it's called a tokoloshi this thing is evil it when it's sent upon you it can rape you your your wife and your entire family this thing can be seen by adults it can only be seen by little child children and all that low uh, pure pure energy yeah. can. Africa, Africa. Yeah, yes and and you see when you say that these people are talking to these spirits you know how can you how can you worship such a spirit? That that spirit is even lower than the human being. The, that is lower than human being. Exactly. But it can't even do exactly. anything. In Africa, uh, in ancient times, even currently, we have this concept what they call the evil forest. It is very popular in West Africa. I don't know if you guys have it in South Africa too. Nah. What you notice, know, every community, if you come to Nigeria. Anybody from Nigeria, you ask them about the evil forest and know about this. Every community we have is part of lands, part of the forest that they separate out. They call it an evil forest. This is a place whereby they bury or they send evil people to in the community. Maybe somebody commits a crime, you kill somebody, you do some very dangerous, abominable crime. You try to use witchcraft or jinx or your fellow person, you do something very, very bad. Okay. There we after having a trial, they will banish the person to the evil forest. They take them there. Maybe sometimes they are executed. If they are executed, they don't bury them in the normal, regular grave with other people. They take them to bury in the evil forest. Okay. Sometimes they bury people alive in the evil forest. Sometimes they tie these people there. Alive and leave them to die. Oh, yeah. So what the, the essence of this evil forest is that uh, 
the spirits of these best people are going to be trapped in that place. Oh, so okay. they cannot incarnate back into Sophia. normal circulation. So that is what we... It's a very we, deep concept. It's a very deep concept. Yes, we have it a lot. I mentioned it in my book, uh, Quantum Physics and uh, the relationship between quantum physics and African spirituality. In Nigeria, it's a very popular concept. Everybody from Nigeria know about the evil forest. Mm -hmm. In the olden days, it's where we used to bury evil people oh, in okay. the community. Yes. But uh, with the coming of the missionaries, Many of these places were destroyed because when the, the missionaries came, the Portuguese, they were looking for land to build churches. The first lands that we were giving to them were this evil forest because people don't want to give them good lands. Yes. So we say, okay, you people want lands. The bad land is what we are going to give you if you survive because we know a lot of bad spirits are there that they have been burying for years. If you can survive, you take the land. So my postulation is that book is that when these people destroyed the land and break those boundaries, many of those spirits that were trapped in those places escaped back into circulation. If you notice in Africa today, West Africa, most of the church have a lot of lands. Most of those lands that the church, especially the Catholic church, are presently situated are this evil forest land that we are giving to them. So I believe these spirits that might have escaped and they went into the church and they have now reincarnated back as pastors. <laughs> and these are the pastors oh, that are now okay, 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 the mind okay. of people in really, the evil religion, trapping us there. So that is what I related that many of the spirits they have all escaped. And that's why we have so much wickedness in Africa today, especially in Nigeria, because all these evil spirits that we have been trapping. They have all escaped back into and they are reincarnated back as human beings doing their evil. And even, now, even to prove it further that they have re reincarnated as pastors, these pastors, what do they do? They go and make more pacts with even lower spirits. You, exactly. You have, yes. Yes. Exactly. They make more pacts with more evil spirits to trap our people's mind. That's why we have so many wicked things happening in our country today. We have so many evil pastors. All the pastors, they are evil mm. people. Mm -hmm. For you to be able to have thousands, millions of people, you trap their minds. You, you think it's it's not ordinary thing. It's not empty-handed. No. Most of our pastors, they are diabolic. We know that they are really diabolic. And they know what they are doing. They know that the Bible is fake. They know that it's just, and they are using the tool to the maximum capacity to trap the minds and souls of people and to meet them for whatever they can get from them. So these spirits, they have escaped back. They are back on this planet running things and continuing their evil. The only thing that will save us from some kind of people is our own spirituality, protecting ourselves, getting in touch with our ancestors and practicing real spirituality. So we have these evil deities. That's why you see Christianity. We have them also in Islam. We have these evil deities. You see the power that these deities have. You see the power that these religions have to trap people. Yes. They know that your soul is not going anywhere. You cannot be able to do anything. You cannot, the person cannot transcend. They just use you as a battery in this lifetime, and then you die, and then you come back again. You are not really going anywhere. You're just wasting your time, continuing all your they're just like a parasite. That is what these evil spirits are. They are parasites, nothing more, nothing less. That's why I used to call them maggots. <laughs> when I see this kind of right call, I see these are the maggot spirits. If you are safe aware, you are conscious, and you are practicing right spirituality, they cannot do anything to you. They, they cannot. They can't. But if you are not, you are within that spell, oh, you are dead. You see people dying every day in Nigeria. All this evil happening, kidnapping, ritualists, and banditry. Most of the people dying, they are Christians and Muslims, not people okay. like us. This is not happen to people like us. These are people that pray to Jesus Christ every day, give all their money to Jesus Christ, and then they still die like chicken. They still get sacrificed and consumed on a daily basis. These priests are not here to save you. They are here to just groom you to the day until the day they want to kill you. It's just like you see the shepherd having chickens or sheep in the farm. The sheep to be happy, oh, he's feeding us every day, he's making, taking care of us, he loves us. No, the shepherd just feeding you for the day that he will kill you. That is the way the religion works with these people. They just 
feeding them for the day is going to destroy to consume them, but they don't know. So that is what we have in this situation with this uh, evil deities. You see most of these white people, yes. many of them, when you show them good deities, even the Egyptian deities, many of them cannot venerate them because they don't, the deities is just too, they don't resonate on the same frequency and they don't have that goodness in them. So they don't gravitate to, that is why I noticed that something is really wrong with most of these people. How can you see something good, you see something evil, you will go for the evil one all the time. Why, why are these people behaving in a certain way? It doesn't what kind of negative spirit is controlling these people? I see this many times, I look at them to study them, to study their character. I see most of these people, they cannot transcend. Very few of them can be able to move forward. It's like their spiritual progression, it is not yet at the stage of maturity or either the people, they just cannot uh, resonate with higher principles of love, of uh, light, of making this world a better place. Only very few of them can do that. The rest just want to gravitate to low level entities. They think that that is the road to power. So it's a very sad situation. And the funny thing is that they are deceiving so many people to go into this kind of evil paths. Uh, when I was uh, practicing spirituality early, I got in touch with some of them. Okay. I, because back then I was learning, trying to learn as much as possible. I got in touch. I actually read some books, followed them, tried to get, but with time, I began to see that this uh, kind of philosophy is not getting me anywhere. It's not 